ladies and gentlemen, this is of course Lightliger here and today we're gonna be doing some investigative journalism. It's been a while since I've done that in the channel and there's this token under Ethereum called Nix Network that a lot of my peers on YouTube have talked about such as BitBoy. Wendio, Elliot Crypto, and many others. There's at least around 20 videos made about this project. Some are being endorsed and some are not. And this is not me calling them out. It's often the case that YouTubers get tricked into promoting projects that are going to be doing pump and dump, or they have maybe an exit scam inside the contract or something similar. But I did some research regarding this project and that's what I'm going to be showing you uh, in this video and apologies for kind of like the very random way that we're going to be going by point by point in this video So apologies uh, beforehand. So this all started with a post on biz uh, Regarding that there was a person claimed that mix is a scam and here's the evidence He basically linked into a video where Wendio did a 10 minute interview with the CEO of mix network basically and he goes by the name of Luke uh, in this video. And he made the case that this is actually the voice of Jason Dibbs, aka Spider Zero, who was the behind the project called Pyro Network. And then I kind of looked into this and decided to do my own research. And I'm not going to play the audios here on this video. You can uh, see the links down below. Here is the actual um, interview with Girl Gone Crypto. Shoutouts to her. Check out her channel. Uh, between Jason, which is the founder of Pyro Network. And based on what I heard from these two clips in these interviews... They seemed somewhat similar, but I'm not guaranteed sure are they the same person. Both seem to be American and also black. But obviously the sound can change quite a lot when microphone is changed or recorded in a different type of a room. So uh, there are some similarities, but I'm not sure are they the same person. So I had to dig more deeper into this matter. So one of the things that was also posted into this thread was this person who is actually a moderator on these uh, things on Discord. And this is called um, Crypto Caden. And when you go to, into her profile in Discord and see the mutual servers, we see that she is actually on Pyro Network. And this is her having a custom colored status. She was uh, some type of a super member or a moderator on Pyro Network's Discord. And she is also now a moderator or an admin at Mix Network. Um, site and also she is a member of the Fireside Crypto which is another discord that I'm not sure about what is this exactly about but they are promoting a lot of tokens which one of them is actually mix at itself if I scroll down here I think that there we go so they are promoting this project here as well are they involved I have no idea whatsoever but let's move on so what else was I able to find so this is the mix network website so if we scroll down First of all, they actually go up first. So they are partners with Lit, which is another DeFi project right now. And if you go very down here on their website and go to their roadmap and do the same on the Lit uh, page, these are basically the identical. So part one and two, token setup, deploy website. Token setup, website deployment. Pre-sale, token goes live. Pre-sale, staking live. Then the last one is Establish Lid DAO. Establish MIX DAO. So, okay. First of all, there's some type of a plagiarism effect here. Uh, <laughs> or it, maybe they are affiliated here or something like that. Um, there doesn't seem to be like a, a proper white paper on the whole project, by the way. That's a, always a red sign. And here is the Pyro Networks website. And this is the project that I believe was the first project that they were building. And by the way, this is exactly the same smart contract. Here is the code comparison taken from Etherscan for the Mix network and for um, uh, the, the, the uh, Pyro network. So as you can see, they only added the social media links. This is not actual code. And it was done with the same Solidity code. Only thing that they changed here is the contract name from Mix Network into Pyro Network. And they tweaked some of the numbers, okay? They made they made that the supply floors a bit different from 10% and blah, 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 and changed the supply. But the same code 
it is the very same code, which makes me believe that it's the same people behind it. And this is not all, and there might be like a much more bigger network of websites involved in this whole type of a thing. So when we go into the Bitcoin profile of Spider Zero, Bitcoin Talk that is, you can see the posts actually uh, here on the, um, that, that he has done here. So he's also part of Unidollar. And this is also the same concept, concept, burn and stake in the same. And he's also the guy that posted also obviously the pyro here on the same website. And also according to Viz um, here that this crypto Caden is also on the Unidollar Discord. But the Unidollar Discord is no longer available. I tried to go into there. So I can't confirm is she a moderator there too. But that's also another link here which makes me believe that there's a connection. Um, and then we're gonna be moving on into the next piece of an evidence, which is the Reddit. So this is the Mixed Network Reddit, and it was created by a person called Upbeat Junk. And it doesn't seem that there's nothing really interesting here right now going on, but when we look into the profile of Upbeat Junk and his posts that he has done, he has done a post on Pyro Network, which was posted on Eth Trader. And this, and there he claims, not a shell, blah, blah, blah. And this is just another next example between the connection between Pyro Network and uh, Mix Network. Then we go into the comparisons of the domains. So first of all, they both have dot .network domain and both have a capital letter as the last one. So this is a capital O and here we have capital X. Both of them are hosted at GoDaddy. They are the similar. Uh, obviously, the registration data sets are on both hidden, uh, so they have covered their tracks. Don't get me wrong on that. But there seems to also be a lot of these similar websites and similar concepts. So this was also mentioned on Biz Rain Network Online. Same concept um, as, as staking and burning, and then there's the Unidollar one, staking and burning. So staking contracts. And then I also find uh, when I looked into the actual CSS of the Pyro Network website, you can actually, this is a good way to find something. So what I was able to find here from the Google Tag Manager is the Google Analytics code. And I searched that on this website and it came out with another website that was also called cybercoin.site. And let's look at this. What is this? Oh, <laughs> it's another deflating project that has a staking system, basically. And this is the burn and rate and staking. So the same thing, 5% burned, 25% distributed among the staking rewards. Absolutely the same contact, contracts, uh, context, <laughs> contract, okay. So my conclusion is that and there's a lot of similarities between a lot of the other codes like the Unidollar and the Rain Network code. So once again, these codes are almost the very exact the same. Couple of lines only change here in terms of the numbers and the name and the percentages. Otherwise, it's basically the very, very same thing. And so my conclusion is that it seems that the MX network is run by the same people who are running the Pyro Network, and one of the developers, by the way, who worked at Pyro Network, uh, scammed me personally. So he was selling smart contracts on Tron, and um, yeah, he, he, uh, there's there's the whole conversation here. You can look into it, and they basically banned him out because um, he did some listing and he found this. So Night Wanderer, he's on he's on the actual moderator, and I there's the whole conversation here. That he, he And there's many people who was also, you know, um, they got reimbursed, obviously. I didn't ever get reimbursed, but basically he was promising a lot of contracts and stuff like that, and he never delivered on them. And I don't know what was his working relationship with Pyro Network, but he was part of it, creating stuff for them. So I believe that the Mixed Network is totally a scam. It's not going to be in the contract, but they're going to be doing a pump and dump, and that's what they've been doing. They've been partnering up with... YouTubers, and this is basically the result. 
In case you want to do your own research, there's a lot more uh, that you can go into looking into into this yourself. And I recommend doing that. You, maybe you can find more information on Telegram and all of these other places regarding this project that I wasn't able to find. I just ultimately decided that I don't want to do more research on this project. I am pretty certain right now that at least some of the people that worked on the Pyro Network Pump and Dump uh, were working on the Mix Network as of right now. So this is my warning. I sold already my bags. I wish you do the same, but it's your, I'm not a financial advisor. It's up to you what you want to do. Obviously share this video in case you know your friends are already invested in this project. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.